this will be part two of the Steel Crow game, the bedroom, or uh, Baby Blue, something like that. It's a Steel Crow game, and I love Steel Crow as a developer, so just finishing this part because it crashed on us earlier, and I just want to finish this for you guys. First off, we're going to learn how to save. This game is fucking awesome, dude. They did so much good work with it. So if you watch part one, you already know what to kind of expect. So we're just going to get into it. Let's keep, let's not change any of the settings too. I think changing the settings. Man, parents, dude, the parents are going at it. So let's get our stool. We got to get our stool. Stool first and foremost. Okay, first grab this. Keep going. Let's keep going. Bob. Sleeping with Bob. Reach that with your little baby limbs. There. Satan. Fuck, that's a mouse. Man, this is such a good horror game, dude. I did a good job with this one. Fuck. Ah, move out of my way, you stupid little pieces of shit. Let's go. Grab this. You guys want to color with it. And the teddy bear is going to get slid out. Yep, teddy bear got slid out. I'm checking everything. Good. Yo, stop it. You go first, bear. scene when we go through this next part that's about to happen. We gotta be ready for that. Prepare yourself guys. Here we go. Yeah it's saved. I don't know why the save wasn't there in that last time. Okay, we gotta be ready. We know what happened last time, and then it crashed. Let's be ready in case.
much cake for no reason! Oh my god, that was so much. Enemies will get more agitated if you hide frequently, making them more aggressive. Wait, what? Wait, it's blocked. Fuck, I'm a baby. I can't do nothing there. You can store some items in your cart, which you can use to distract enemies with. Okay. Uh. I can ride my tricycle? Oh my god, that's so... That's so cool. How do we open that though? How do we open that door? Okay, what is that? That's like a light switch? What? Okay. Oh, there we go. Let's go. Let's get out of here, bro. I don't like this at all. Stuck. I'm stuck. Sorry, Aiden is stuck. Give it a minute. Bro, that was such a good game. That was such a good game. That game was astounding. I'm actually just gonna add these two together. I'm gonna edit it together and put it on YouTube that way. God, that was amazing. Holy shit. Or no, actually no. I'll do the I need to start doing that in parts. So this will be part two. It'll be the ending of the game. If you guys like that first video, please hit that like and sub on this video like you did. I could see a lot of good things coming from this game if they put in the time and effort into it. Maybe have like a hiding mechanic where you gotta like hide throughout the game and like do different stuff to it. I know this is a demo, so maybe they just wanted us to get out of the house because like we were already scared. But maybe have us stay in the house. Have like the front door key not be what we get from the basement. Have that be like maybe a key to get the front door key and have the front door key be somewhere else in the house. That would be really fun. Have like maybe a dumbbell. If you could add a dumbbell into there, that would be creepy as hell. And have like it where we gotta like think logically about puzzles in like the first and second floor with like a dumbbell maybe. That could add so many new dynamics to that. Besides that, I could also see them doing something like maybe, hmm. Man, I want to see more about the parent situation. Maybe add more story about that before the fight. Like, let us know more about the dad, why the dad is doing what he's doing, maybe. Or maybe that's the big reveal at the end of the game. I don't know, but Steel Crew is a wonderful studio maker. He is a single developer. He is still making all the bugs come out, of course. That's why it crashed in the last video. But this is a phenomenal game. Just because that crash happened doesn't mean, like, don't play it. Go play it. This game is phenomenal. Everything in it. There's probably little secrets that I missed the first time I played. Like, uh, and plus, you just gotta say. I just gotta say. Okay, that's weird. There's a bug. Like, after you beat the game, you can't select nothing. Yeah, I can't select nothing. Okay, I'm gonna close it. But yeah. Maybe add some features like uh when i looked at the monster it was kind of jittery like when i first saw him and when he first busted through the door maybe fix that up a bit because 
it was in my system. My system ran just fine. It l took like a lot of, a lot more of the GPU than it needed, I think. And it caused my whole system to crash while I stream, which shouldn't happen. I play Elden Ring, for God's sake, and with like dragons breathing fire and shit. So it's just like, I don't know. Maybe optimize it just a tiny bit more, Steel Krill. Do a few things here and there, and you got a very good game engine. Like, that is a very good game. But yeah, like and sub, all that good shit. I'll catch you guys on the next horror game.